All right, folks, here I am back in Oregon in the winter, the dead of the winter. I had to come back here for a little business and uh, kind of bad timing, man. It's freaking, the weather is crazy up here. It was a rough ride, rain, the whole, rain and snow the whole way. Anyway, I had to come back up here for a little business and I figured I would uh, bring uh, Chris Hendegard's ashes up here also and spread them in the river here. So this spot I'm in right now, this little location here, this is where he first put in our dredges, right in this spot. There was me and him and another guy. Our first season together, and we didn't know each other that well. And we floated them down about a quarter mile and started mining. And we hit it off pretty good. And we became good friends and uh, we stayed mining partners. So I have his ashes right here. And one of his own gold pans. And I'm going to let him go right here. And float them down the river. And the water is so crazy high today, it'll get caught in a rapid and it'll spread his ashes. I don't want to just dump them here, so I'm going to hope this thing will float on down the river. And we'll do that right now. And, uh, you know, a little memorial service for my buddy. So here's his ashes. Boy, it's like a swamp here. Let's see if we can get him moving. There's my buddy, Chris Hendegar. That's what's left of him. Uh, some most of the ashes went to Florida where he's from and they had a little service down there and put them in the ocean so we're gonna get them going here see if we can get them out there see you my friend might have to get a stick and push you further out in the river maybe it'll catch the current anyway this is where we first put our dredges in and uh, became partners we were just uh, I was just kind of helping them out might have to get a stick and push him. <laughs> He's still hung up there. Come on, man. You can make it in the current out there. Come on, Chris. Get on out there. He knows the power of the Rogue River will take him. Uh-oh. Now I can't reach him with a stick. He's trapped in an eddy. <laughs> He's trapped there. <laughs> Come on, Chris, get a move on. If we can get him to make it to uh, where you don't see the water anymore, about right here. There's rapids down there, and it'll fill that little pan up and sink him. But I got to get him moving. All right, so I gave him a little nudge with a stick. Looks like he's about to catch the current. Come on, Chris, you got to get on out of here. Get on out. It's about to catch the current. There he goes. Come on, he got it. There he goes, he caught the current. Take care of my friend, my friend Chris Handegard, on his next journey. On your next journey, my friend. Take care and Godspeed. Oh, he's, he's taking off now. Let's see if we can catch him coming down here. I don't think he sank yet. He might go down the island, actually. Down the creek side. There he is. <laughs> he's still floating, man. Let's see if he's gonna go, which side of the island he's gonna go on. This is the part where we parked and uh, went in the river sometimes. He's going down the main channel, that's good. See him there, folks? Where's he at? There he goes, down the main channel. Oh, nope, he's gonna hit the island. He's gonna hit the island. There he is, he's gonna hit the island. He loved that island. 
Chris is on the island. There he is. He's gonna go to the creek side, folks. He's gonna go down this side of the island, the left side. Oh, he's hung up. He might sink. So he might sit there for a while and enjoy the Rogue River. That is cool. He's just uh, sitting there. Zoom in even further. There he is. He's going. He's going to make it. There he goes, folks. Where'd he go? There he goes. There is his final destination. Let's see if we can catch him going down the creek side. <laughs> Chasing the handy guard. See you, my friend. He's taking off now. There he goes. I'm not going to chase him any further. I can't go any further. So he's going down our little creek side. So Chris actually walked across this little creek side onto an island to his dredge and his dredge on the other side of the river so he walked across the river so we parked here two seasons in a row and he walked right down this a little bit over here a little bit further over there's an island here like I said walked across it so he spent a lot of time on that island so he's gonna maybe spend uh, a little time on that island Anyway, this is where uh, I found six pounds of gold. We're looking right out at it. That stretch right there on the other side of all those logs. The island is growing, actually. You see this? This is how this island grew. It's grown about, golly, it's grown. This is the, the island, actually. It wasn't like this. It was about right from here. So the latest storms have made the island grow even further. This is how the island grew. Well, that's my stretch right there. That's my six pound gold stretch and it goes around the corner there. Anyway, I'm gonna sign out here. I gotta leave tomorrow so I gotta go back and pack and drive uh, 800 miles to LA in this crazy weather. I'm gonna miss my friend. I already do, been two months now, but I thought I might come up here in the summer and uh, drop his ashes now, but I had to make an emergency run to uh, Oregon, so brought his ashes with me. Still miss my friend. All right, folks, I'm signing out from beautiful Oregon in the winter. It is January 11th or 10th or something like that. Take care, folks.